And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Part Planet of Death. When we last left off, we just um, read a very sentimental journey, journal entry by Derek Stealth. And in this entry, it was mentioned that he that there's only one uh, ship left on I, which is able to take him off the planet, which is in fact a single seated ship. Now we saw in the cutscene, um, I mean the ending cutscene, the ship with which he left off, which does not really look like a single seated ship. Also the introductory cutscene directly contradicted the story as exposed in the text log so it appears that um, the designers or the people developing the story didn't and the people developing the cutscenes sort of uh, didn't really interact. Okay, let us do some erasing. Stop wasting time. Could try a different car, but I think I will just stick with that. Let's try uh, do this uh, track again. This is the Galleria shopping mall, um, which collapsed, as we have learned in one of the text logs, as a result of the activity of part. And with this collapse, buried um, buried underneath the uh, well, un so and with this collapse, the wife of K Derek Stealth died. Okay, that was difficult to get out. Yeah, sometimes I just. Uh, Sentences keep are stuck in my head and I have difficulties getting them out. I, I'm quite sure you have noticed that if you have been following my Let's Plays. I'm afraid I can't really do anything about that, uh, except that I can and try to do so, but um, sometimes. Yeah, this is to no avail. Okay, I haven't yet found the box stop in this level. Or maybe, actually I do. I think I know where the box stop is. Um, I think it's coming up right now after that corner. And then I think it's right there. Uh, not there. There. I think that's the box stop. Yes. Okay, that's a very short box stop. Yeah, you can see some of... On the right side, you could see some... Uh, some remaining parts of a collapsed building might have been, in fact, the very building which uh, buried underneath itself wife of our protagonist. Well, it could be. Okay. It could be. Okay. Still quite uh, comfortably dominating this um, the field, even though I'm playing on normal. That's probably because I'm driving with a very good car, the AB1, and because uh, I'm playing on a track 
of the uh, championship. Yeah, you can see some structural damage there on the right side. I've also tried one of the one of the uh, 16 tracks. It were provided as downloads um, on the Ubisoft website. So as I said on several occasions, the original version of Pod consisted only of the 16 tracks which we have seen in the uh, championship. The, the gold version of Pod contains 32 tracks, which includes all the tracks which were ever released by Ubisoft. Um, but if you bought the game originally, so the original game, then you could just you could just download apparently these tracks as soon as they have were becoming available. That doesn't quickly go to the box stop. Ah. I mean, the competition seems to have disappeared. Um, yeah, 16 seconds. We're leading by 16 seconds now. It's fair to say that they can't really compete with us. Um, Maybe I should actually try to bump up the difficulty level. I will in fact do that when we do another race. Okay. The interesting thing is that the enemies in this game, they in fact do have fixed a fixed pattern, a fixed personality. This, the enemies are not just uh, don't have the same AI for every enemy, or it's also not randomly distributed. They are uh, to each label, to each name is in fact attached a unique personality, which I think is a cool future, which gives which gives the game. Yeah, more death, I think. And we're stuck in a wall. This game looks beautiful. Despite the fact that it's so old, I think this game still looks fantastic. Uh, let us see how much time we have left. Five minutes. Okay, I think I will use that time to read text log, which is a bit longer. I hope I can manage to read it out this time. Okay. D-Day minus three. Derek Stelp's journal. Hi again, Diane. Remember the speed demons I was telling you about? I thought there were only two or three of those derelicts racing the streets and playing Russian roulette with the cars. Nope, I was wrong. I've come to the realization that a gang of lunatics have been organizing races between each other and risk their lives racing on the roads of Io, which have been completely torn apart by part. I'm going to get them though, one by one if I have to. I know, they really aren't doing any harm. Let them wrap themselves around the signposts if they want. It would make my job even easier actually, one less person to chase down. Let them race. Heck, if they weren't racing, what would I do? I think I'll just chase them down to help me pass this time. I'm sure they'll like adding a little spice to their meaningless races. A little game of cat and mouse. The oldest one in the book. I'm definitely going to enjoy this. 
During my rounds this morning, I spotted a few of them at the cocoon. After following for a few miles, I realized that they are amazing drivers and that their vehicles have been completely redesigned. I was able to get close to one to them once, but when they saw me approach, they took off and left me eating their dust. To top it off, I cracked an axle when I hit a post a pothole at 190 miles per hour. Thought I was going to lose it for a minute, but I regained control at the last second. I had to walk back to the station though, and the entire bottom of the car is completely shut. Luckily I have my service vehicle, the Bacar 95C. I can guarantee they'll be eating my dust soon. I have the entire garage at, at a lot of time at my disposal. The next time I meet up with these little jokers will be in, on equal terms. I'm planning on giving them a real scare, just for the heck of it, so that they'll be shocking, shaking afterwards. How can I actually scare them though? I mean, really make their skin crawl. And what am I going to do after I catch them? Throw them in jail? Spy on them? Banish them from Io? And what would I do afterwards? Maybe I'll just let them go and start the chase again. The more I think about it, the more I think we're going to have some fun here. This might be even as dangerous and as addictive as the partner system itself. I know what you're thinking. You are absolutely losing it, Derek. Get out of here. See a doctor. Take some pills. Just help yourself. Somehow. And maybe you're right. End of entry. And with this, I end this video of Let's Play Part. I hope you liked it. Uh, there are still two more text logs to go. So at least two more videos. Yes, okay, so until next time folks, until then.